My question, my question to you is, what did you do to crawl three, five hundred people, whatever you think it is? There were a number of things. We did a heavy online campaign, and we also are very grateful that WTKS um, was promoting it a lot on the radio. Um, and WTOC, thank you very much, um, they went live this morning between 6 o'clock and 8 a.m. So the, the TV could have been one of the main I, I sources think, on I that? I think, yeah, absolutely. How about Plus, online? Yeah, we did extensive Facebook <laughs> extensive Twitter blogs, yeah. Do you have any way of being able to determine what was the leading method that brought out such a crowd, or other than I, short I, of asking I, eighth person? I think, yeah, um, I think the cause is so phenomenal with, with goodwill that okay. people understand the cause and Bye. so, Bye. but, um, Hold just for a second. Sure. Good to see you. Good to see you too. And you're the CEO and president. Are you here in the Savannah region or are you working out of... Yes, yes. Our uh, goodwill industries of the coastal empire is uh, the headquarters in Savannah. But we cover 33 counties in uh, in the coastal Georgia and four counties in South Carolina. And how many employees will you have here? Well, this this location here, we just hired 25 people from the community and uh, full-time uh, jobs. Right. And we're looking for uh, upstairs. We have a career center where we can allow more people who are currently out of work to find jobs. Right. Do you have room to expand? If you ever had to expand this store, you think this is it? Uh, well, th this is it. this is it for now. We don't have a plan for the expansion. We actually had you know the biggest uh, location. This is this is our biggest location among all. 12 other stores uh, within the coastal empire. So this is a, a very successful business model with this size. Right, right. Well, job well done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to work working through the glass. It shoots pretty good. I'm, I'm surprised. Jan, uh, during the campaign, it was all about sales tax, sure tax property taxes, jobs. Uh, share with us your thoughts what this does on all those categories as a city council member and being part of the Goodwill Industries. Wow, you know, today alone, look at the tax generated. You have 25 new employees working here at Goodwill. Uh, in addition to that, you can see that our cash registers are lined up down the aisles. Uh, I think this has been a very good turnout. The tax revenue is going to be tremendous for do you, him. Do you know about what the uh, annual sales was projected? What are y'all projecting in growth? We want this to be a million dollar store like our Brunswick, Statesboro, Wilmington Island and Pooler store. So, so that's our goal is to make this a million dollar store. That's great. And Mayor, you want to get right in. <laughs> we were just talking to Jan being city council and being mayor and her being part of Goodwill and everybody talks about jobs and, and sales tax. This is probably a record breaking event with turnouts and What's your thoughts on what's going on here today? I think it's fantastic. We got a uh, record crowd. Uh, I think everyone is highly surprised at the number of people that were, you know, showed up for the grand opening. Uh, when you line up all the way down past the uh, end of the shopping mall and they were four or five deep, uh, great turnout. You guys are in charge of the city. What is, uh, what else you got up your sleeve that you think is coming in the near future? You got some more of these kind of things planned? You know, in my opinion, with this store being here, I spoke with Joe Bobleski yesterday. This is going to be bring this shopping plaza back up and that will fill these stores which will put tax revenue back into the community That's great. and fill open spaces. How about you Harold? What do you think? Well I agree and I think also the incentive that we have come up with that runs right. this April through the next April where uh, commercial property will not have to pay uh, connection fees to yep. water and sewer that uh, uh, is definitely going to help also. It yeah you're right. Sends that message that we are open for business. We are definitely open for business. Guys y'all doing a great job. Thank, Thank you very very much. Appreciate it. All right, here's three of the board members of the Chamber of Commerce, President John Reynolds, Angus McLeod, Dallas Daniels. Guys, what you think? Uh, Johnny, this is exciting. It's fantastic to see Richmond Hill, uh, to see the opportunity at the retail, just to see the people show up. Uh, I think it demonstrates how starved our community is for some good, solid retail business here in Richmond Hill. Uh, this is good for the whole community. The parking lot's full of cars from McIntosh, Liberty, and Chatham County. There'll be a lot of overflow from, from this event in, in, in daily into the community. 
It is. Uh, it's an exciting time for, for all of retail, uh, for Richmond Hill. Uh, what Goodwill's doing also is just upstairs with the tutorial services and the uh, access to the computers and stuff, is uh, it's just a, a, a nice compliment. It, it's created 25 jobs and hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales tax. Johnny, I don't know if you know about the uh, the mission of Goodwill, but last night at the, I guess, the VIP party that they had, I learned that uh, Goodwill is the largest employer of disability, of workers with disabilities of anyone in the country. I did not. Uh, their mission is basically to help people disabled in whatever way come back to work, get back to work. They'll work with employers to train people specifically for your needs. Um, this is just, it's an, it's an exciting organization to have so involved in our community and, and we all need to get behind it. All right, this uh, National Restaurant will be done. <laughs> National Restaurant, uh, we'll hold that for the next interview, but uh, we are working on something. <laughs>